Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here, and today we are talking about superheroes. I'm a DC guy myself, DC man myself, but there's something special about Insomniac and what they've been creating. Now, Marvel has been winning, honestly, when it comes to just number of movies, number of TV shows, etc., etc., and number and quality of video games. Basically, DC's got the Batman games going for them. I mean, yeah, but those are pretty much donezo. And Marvel, on the other hand, has a lot going on. Just this year, we know about Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Midnight Suns, uh, geez, and all so much other things. Guardians, multiple Guardians games, Marvel's Avengers, as terrible as that is. But let's focus, let's narrow our focus, narrow our scope down to Insomniac. Insomniac makes good shit. So, Marvel Spider-Man, that is just a fantastic game. It is the best Spider-Man game in many a year. Uh, I can't even remember which Spider-Man I played a lot on PC back when I was a kid. Uh, it, all I remember is that at the end, the final boss is Doc Ock gets fused with Carnage. If you know which game that is, let me know in the comments down below. But Insomniac Spider-Man is just fantastic. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every second of it. I played all the DLC, yada, 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 platinum the game. It's good. Play it if you haven't. And... Now, Miles Morales has come out, which is a shorter, but still very good game. And people are like, what's Insomniac working on now? Ratchet and Clank just came out, what's next? Insomniac's gotten pretty big since they were taken on by Sony, and are now have over 10,000 people working there. So, to my knowledge, there's three big teams. There's the team that is working on Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, everybody was excited to see that announcement. Oh my god, Spider-Man 2, can you believe it? Whoa! Spider-Man 2 is going to have Peter Parker, Miles Morales, and Venom. And the supposition is that they are all going to be somehow teaming up or facing off against Kraven the Hunter. Or Miles and uh, Peter are going to be facing off against Venom, or against Venom and Kraven. It's all just kind of up in the air right now. But... That game, which is now coming out till 2023, people are excited for, to say the least. And it has been confirmed it will be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Makes sense. After all, Sony owns Insomniac. And yeah, by that time, there ain't going to be no cross-gen. So yes, it will be only on PlayStation 5. Now, what is the Miles Morales team working on? Spider-Man 2? Got the main team. They got the Spider-Man team. They're working on all sorts of things. You're going to be able to play as both Peter and Miles. All sorts of story beats. Costumes for both characters. Yada, yada, yada. But the Miles Morales team being led by creative director Brian Horton and Cameron Christensen. Christian, who directed the uh, Miles Morales game. They are working on Marvel Wolverine. This... He's got people hyped in such a way that I can only imagine because coming from Insomniac, we know that this is going to be guaranteed quality. It is just going to be something else in terms of quality, but it's going to have a much sharper edge, so to speak, because... Spider-Man is great. He is probably one of the most popular superheroes in existence. I mean, if when I think popular superheroes, Spider-Man and Batman have to be the most popular superheroes in existence. But the thing about Spider-Man is he's very uh, PG-13. He's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. A Wolverine game... That can get intense. That can get bloody. That can get just hard edge. Oh my gosh, what is happening? And I'm looking forward to seeing what Insomniac can do with a more bitter character like Wolverine. With a just gruffer, ready to throw down, ready to slice and dice character like Wolverine. So this is something to be excited for. This is something to get hyped for. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this.
Now, just kind of a minor side note, what is Insomniac's last team working on? The uh, team who developed Ratchet and Clank? Honestly, who knows? Ratchet and Clank just came out. Give them some breathing room before they have to work on something else. I don't know what they're working on. I don't know what it'll be. Is it going to be a new Ratchet and Clank game? Is it going to be a different IP? Yada, yada, yada. All I know is that we are excited for everything Insomniac has got to put out, and it's just going to be guaranteed quality. Uh, I think the 200 and what, $30 million dollars that Sony has spent on and spent to buy Insomniac, I think that they're getting their return on their investment. I, I mean, just a little bit. So, uh, let me know what you think. Are you excited for Spider-Man 2? Are you excited for Wolverine? Which are you more excited for? I want to know because Spider-Man, we know what they like. They've done it before, twice, and it's good. But Wolverine, that quality with that potential, what do you think is going to happen there? Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later. Later.